If you're not the kind of man who would do things just because they can do them, you'll never be put in a position where you're capable of doing them anyway. You Is that a re good enough reason to do them? But no, it's not about good enough reason. It's about the only reason you ended up in a position where you could do them is because you're the kind of person to who them. would do them. Yeah, the kind of people who wouldn't do them don't, don't ever get, get in a position. That's the beautiful thing about life. Because there's so many times along the way you could have chosen something else and you just never would have reached that pinnacle and level of power. Why do fighters win a world championship and then keep fighting afterwards? Well, they would never become world champion if they weren't the kind of person who will just continue to fight. That's how they are. So some men are just built different. Not enough people look back on what they did and identify where they made a mistake. And some people will do it when they lose, but the true professionals do it when they win. Mm. When my dad was playing a chess game, if he won the game, he would still analyze the game and see if he could have lost, where it could have gone wrong, how he could have won faster, what mistakes he did make, what he did well, what he did wrong, win or lose. So many people will sit in, in a scenario where everything went wrong and go, in fact, Correction, not so many people. I would say 75% of people will not ever self-analyze the situation or in the blame of everyone else. If they went to jail like I did, they'd say, they put me in jail because they're liars and the matrix did it. Did it. Fine, true. But when I was in jail, I was like, how did I get here? What did I do? What did I say? Who did I piss off? What institutions want me in jail? What did I do that angered them? Me, me, me. I'm taking absolute self-accountability for everything. I'm not blaming any one thing else because if I blame everything else, I have no control. Mm. If I blame myself that I can influence that I have control over it. Nobody else is gonna wake up and care more about your life than you. Mm -hmm. If you won't wake up every day and say, I need to get rich. Nobody else is gonna wake up and say, I need to make him rich. Yeah. Nobody else is gonna do it for you. So if you don't think it, mm. nobody else is gonna think it, which means nobody thinks it. So it's down to you, right? Only you're the person, you're the only person on the planet who could think it. And I always knew, I never doubted for a second I would be what I am. I knew I would be rich. I just knew I would be rich and, and be free and be able to do and say what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I just knew that. I was just like, there's no way that guy in the Ferrari who drove past me is a better person than me. There's no way he's smarter than yeah. me. And I was not arrogant because arrogance prevents you from working. Arrogance makes, because I'll make it. Arrogance is to people who go, my ship will come in later. Arrogance is to people who watch Love Island and go, I'll be rich later. That's yeah, arrogance. Yeah. Most people are very arrogant. I was never arrogant. I understood, okay, I'll just outwork him. Maybe he's smarter than me. Fine, I'll outwork him. I'll just outwork him. But I actually love feeling stressed. I do best it when I'm stressed. It pushes you. I've had 87 professional fights. For about three of those fights, for some reason, I wasn't nervous. And it really bothered me. So why am I not nervous? I, I like feeling nervous. I like being stressed. I, I fight better. I react quicker. Have you ever been jumped? Like you get scared if someone jumps out at you? That's when you're the fastest you've ever been. Yep. So I think stress is a fantastic motivator. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. But I was saying to this girl, I don't get any of the happiness you get from life. You wake up and you do your nails and you shop for Prada and you get to look gorgeous and you smile all day and you get to make a cute cupcake and you bring me the cupcake and you laugh ha 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 cupcake i'm concerned with real important things d car trying to put me in jail M millions of dollars have gone missing <laughs> like i'm dealing with real stuff you're dealing with cupcakes <laughs> but i am happy that i go through all of this so i can make you happy life is an energy exchange yeah if you look at a fight right you have to make sure the energy you spend punching him does more damage or takes away more energy than you've expended. If you, that's, why, that's why missing is a big problem. If you miss all the time and you've wasted energy with no net gain, right? So life's an energy exchange, this is how it works. If you're out here just fucking bitches who don't care about you, you are wasting enormous energy. And let's, yeah. talk, let's talk about this in length, right? We can talk about it first financially. You're going out, you're spending money, you're taking her out, taking her dinner, you're spending money, that's the first thing. But the second thing is, a lot of men, especially if they're insecure, really feel like they get a victory if they fuck a girl. And at a certain status of man, that disappears. And I'm going to state this once again without arrogance. I go out to Dubai now. I pick up a girl in the club. I come back here. I fuck her. She doesn't care about me. I don't care about her. Hey, I fucked this hot girl. I've got a fucking $5.2 million Bugatti. We're coming back to a $48 million mansion on the Palm. I'm, I'm the richest guy in the fucking club. I'm top G, whatever, whatever. I sleep with her. Wow. I put all the energy in yeah, all wow. night, smashing her right. She yeah. just lays there chilling. That's the best night of her life. And I'm going to go there. Did I, <laughs> did I win? You know, I didn't, she won. Gay. The men with money who were, who were once broke and had women when broke are good with women with money. Yeah. But the men with Not money who never got girls when they were broke are fucking fish and they get fished. It's like, they get wheeled in and wrecked. 18 year olds can be chasing pussy because he's got money now. 
but he has nothing else a woman actually nothing wants else. and no experience. Awesome. She's going to be fleecing him left, right, and center. He's also a robbery target. I've been in rooms. Motherfucker sitting there with no money, bright ideas. <laughs> I've been sitting there. <laughs> and the they'll see his watch and they'll see what club he's in. So he's a robbery target now on top of it all. Yeah. He's not security conscious because he's never been in those rooms. He's never seen it from either side. So that's the worst thing that can happen to a young man. 75% of people blame other people or they blame other things. I lost my business because of COVID. No, you lost your business because of you. I lost my girl because her friends were hoes. No, you lost your girl because of you. And you lost your car because of you. And it's all your fault because that's the only thing that gives you control and power. The other 10%. We said 75, that's 85, no, it has to be much higher. Let's say the other 20%, which brings up to 95% of the total of the populace, will look at a situation in which they lose and they might self-analyze and they might try and learn from the loss and they'll try and find the feedback involved in the loss to make sure they don't lose again, which is obviously better than not feed, not analyzing at all. At all, yeah. And the top 5%, the absolute highest echelon, are people who are going to analyze every decision they've ever made, win or lose. I analyze my wins as well. See where you went right. See, see where, where I went right, see where I went wrong, see where it worked. You need to analyze your whole life. Your life needs to be feedback. The reason 98% of people aren't rich is because they're arrogant. They're brutally arrogant. And I say that because you will stand up and say, I'm going to do a, uh, an event and I'm going to teach you how to make money from real estate. And people will look at you with all your success and go, what does he know? Fuck him. Not, not worth my time. You're the millionaire. They ain't. I'll sit here and say, I'll give you free tips on how to make money online. Hundreds of millions of dollars, go to corporate.com, you can sign up, get a free email newsletter. Yeah, uh, you know, I saw him on TikTok, he's full of shit. How arrogant, genuinely arrogant in your soul must you be as an individual to look at people who are massively successful with all the credentials and all the proof for all the things they talk about and believe for some reason you're too good to listen to them. Yeah. That's just arrogance. If Mike Tyson walked in here and said he's gonna teach me how to punch, even though I'm already a kickboxing world champion, I'd listen, it's Mike Tyson. I think that getting rich when you're young as a man is probably one of the worst things that can happen. Damn. You don't want to get rich to your late 20s. You want to spend all your 20s broke. Broke and grinding. Broke, grinding, training, making girls like you for who you are and your fucking backpack. <laughs> being funny, being interesting. That's what you need to do. I spent my 20s winning world title fights and living in girls' houses who paid, they were fucking cooking for me. I didn't have any money. Yeah. That, that's how I grew up. If I had money at 18, 19, I would have skipped so many experiences and so many hard lessons. I'd be a fraction of the man I am today. So I don't like the idea of kids just gambling and getting lucky. Yeah. Now, of course, that's an anomaly because the majority of kids gamble are not and lose. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. They gamble and lose. So yeah. then you have to analyze why are kids gambling on meme coins in the first place? And the reason for that is because the matrix is now so broken. Yeah. Our fiat currency system has become so corrupt. It feels like the only way out. It's the only way out. I don't think most people understand that this war is coming for everyone. It can't be avoided. You're either going to become someone like me who's fighting against it, the counterculture, or you're going to buy into it and be a victim of it. I don't think any man who wakes up and accepts the garbage that the Matrix tells them that, yeah, it's okay to be depressed that like we just talked about. Yeah, you should be running around doing perkies and Adderall and consuming porn and sleeping with a bunch of hoes. And yeah, go to school and get education and get in debt and then go get a mortgage and get in debt and then nine to five and just slave away and you'll be retired when you're 74, it's gonna be fine. All the things they push, all the standardized mechanisms that a man's supposed to live his life by, I believe lead to crippling depression and sadness anyway. I don't think that makes anyone happy. So this war is twofold. You can either fight against the system and be its enemy like I am, or you can accept the system and then you're gonna be fighting against yourself in your head because now you're your own enemy. Because you listen to the system and you hate yourself and you hate your life. Yeah. So what do you want to do if you can't avoid fighting? Do you want to turn on yourself or do you want to turn on your enemy? A lot of people, the main reason people aren't rich, there's probably three primary reasons. They're either lazy, they're arrogant, or they're stupid. I think lazy is actually quite a small contingent because I think a lot of people get out here and they work very hard to a degree. Like even if you're a trash man, that's still work. You're working hard. You're just not making any money. And also I think if you could show somebody how to make money, a lot of people would, would do it. I don't think they're that lazy. If you say, look, press this button for money, they're not gonna go, no, I don't, I can't be bothered. They're like, all right, okay. They're just lazy to find out how perhaps. Yeah. But once they know how, they'll do it. Stupid, I think is also a very small percentage. I think that stupid is a small percentage because I don't think that IQ, in fact, it's been proven, IQ has nothing to do with how successful you are. Right. Very rich people, very smart people are broke. Yeah. 
very dumb people are rich. Like, like, so I don't think that stupid is the reason people aren't rich.